Hi crafters, it's Hannah here from handcraftedcards.com. Welcome to this week's three colour card challenge. This is the card that I'm going to be showing you how to make today. Um, we're going to be using the Swirly Scribbles Thinlets and I'm going to be showing you how to get this fun ombre effect in the background. So if you're new to my channel then please sub consider subscribing because there are lots of colour challenge videos and as I said I do one every single week so I don't want you to miss a video. Uh, so let's get into this tutorial. So let's pick uh, our numbers for this. Actually, first, before we get into the numbers, I just want to say a huge, huge, huge thank you to all of my subscribers. Um, because last week I reached 500 subscribers. And my goal that I'd set for myself was by the end of this year I wanted to get to a thousand and it's March and I'm already halfway there so I am so so grateful to all of my subscribers I've got over 500 now at the time I'm recording this so I just wanted to say thank you so much because I do love putting up videos and um, I genuinely do this because I enjoy doing it but I thought oh, you know I'd set myself a goal hopefully by putting up you know regular um, uh, tutorials that are hopefully are quite useful I could get to a thousand and like I said I'm already over halfway there now so thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed I really do genuinely appreciate it and it really does make me happy that I've got so many subscribers and that you you know hope you like in my videos that really does make me feel really good so thank you very much to everybody who subscribed and like I said my goal is to reach a thousand so any help you that would be awesome so share my video share my channel um that that's so appreciated by me so thank you to everybody so that being said this week's color challenge um we need some numbers um i thought this week first of all as well thank you to everybody who commented on last week's videos with numbers i had loads and loads of comments and i've picked ruth baker who said timeless textures is my favorite stamp set that was a stamp set i used last week and for numbers she chose 8 29 and 41 that gives us 8 tangerine tango 29 is not even navy and 41 is 41 so saffron so tangerine tango Night of Navy and So Saffron. Um, so those are the, num the colours for this week. Remember, if you want your numbers to be picked, all you need to do is comment and um, comment with a comment about the video if you want to, and also your three numbers between 1 and 50. And I'm going to start doing some giveaways as well because I do really appreciate the fact that everybody is still playing along and commenting with numbers. So I'm going to get those colours. Um, pick a stamp set that I think will work with that and then we'll get making so be back in a second okay so I've got our colours so saffron tangerine tango and night of navy and I thought looking at these two you could get quite a nice ombre effect with those and then this can be um sort of what we do our got some other accents in it um so I've got um swirly bird and the swirly scribbles thin nuts because i saw a card the other day using this um and i thought it kind of reminded the colors kind of reminded me of the card if that makes sense so i'm going to do something similar i saw it on pinterest i didn't i don't know whose card it was so you might this might be similar to somebody's card I don't know I'm sorry I didn't see actually look who made the card but if it is then leave me a comment that's fine um so sure first things we're gonna do is I've got a knight of navy card base and I've got a piece to go no not that one what's they got oh it's here Got a piece to go inside, which I'll stick inside in a minute. And then this is going to go on the outside. But what I'm going to do is do an ombre effect between these two colours. And then um, add some some decoration with the Knight of Navy. So, first things first. Let's get these open. I had somebody tell me yesterday that they loved the sounds of these opening and closing. 
<laughs> this is the it just makes them happy so I thought that was awesome <laughs> so it is a good sign because you know you're going to be doing some crafting so that was fab to hear so I'm going to start with the so saffron and I'm just going to start inking it up quite a lot on this sponge because it's a light colour. So I'm just starting at one end and I'm going to go about halfway up the paper. Oh, can you see? There we go. So I'm just slowly building up the colour. I want it darker down this end. And then lighter going up. Going from the sides a little bit. You see what I'm doing? Yeah. And this is also going to be quite a quick card because today when I'm actually crafting I don't have a lot of time. So I thought it would be a good... Um, way to show that even if you don't have tons and tons and tons of time to craft you can still hopefully make a pretty card so that's about halfway ish I'm gonna go to tangerine tango and go from the other end Oops. Bit of an arm workout this is. <laughs> so I'm just trying to get those lines smooth. As smooth as possible anyway. And again going to about halfway. But most of the co the colour is going to be down this end. So I'm very lightly going to overlap the two colours. But I'm keeping the very, very centre. Almost white, but not fully. Let me get a bit of ink on here and darken this end a bit more there we go so we've kind of got an ombre between the two colours so that's that so next thing I'm going to do actually I'm going to close these up because you know me probably put my fingers in it so next thing I'm going to do a bit of die cutting um, the one? Yep. so I'm bringing my big shot well I'm actually going to leave the big my big shots just to the shop the side of me here I've got my platforms and some note of navy cardstock I'm going to cut this wavy looking swirl and this one and which way do I want it I'm going to go that way like so I'm just going to cut that out so my big shot's just next to me here So what I've got are those top and bottom pieces and then the swirly wavy bit. 
I'm going to use all of it. Let's tap out these extra bits here. So I need a fast fuse. So what I'm going to do is, this is going to go across the centre. And then I'm going to put the top and bottom bit on as well. But not as far down as it was, as, as in when I cut it originally. I'm going to lift it up a bit so you can see a little bit more of that uh, the, the background. And the same with here, and then I can just trim off the excess. So it's going to look something like that. I'm just trying to think what glue would actually be best. Uh, I think I will probably just use wet glue actually. Uh, no, I won't. Ignore that. I'm going to use fast fuse. I can get it along that curve. And then straight on the edge. I'll just put that back in just to so I know how far down to bring it. So, on about that much showing. Like that. And the same with the bottom piece. Just making sure I'm doing it the right way up. <laughs> Oops. That's going to be about there. And that. Whoa. So then I think I'll do it on my trimmer. Let's bring my trimmer in. Just gonna trim off those extra bits. So then we have that. So that way actually. And now this bit, well, I'm going to stick back in the centre and this one I will use the wet glue for. Actually I should probably use a fine tip glue pen because it is quite <coughs> a fine line. I want to make sure I get it on the edges so the edges aren't sticking up. So just make sure you get the edges. And then just dot it along. the lid back on straight away I mean if you just line up one end then it should hopefully be straight There you go, and that is our ombre wave looking card, which I quite like. <laughs> so, I'll stick the inside piece in. So don't forget if you want to um, have a bit of a shout out or and want your numbers picked, then you need to comment on this video with uh, your numbers. Any three numbers between 1 and 50. And I might pick your comment and your numbers for next week's card. So, don't forget to comment. 
<laughs> Although I'll have to just pick the numbers myself and it's not as much fun. Because <laughs> I know what all the numbers refer to, so... Yeah. So just for a very quick sentiment, I'm going to use the um, Teeny Tiny Sentiment stamp set and uh, uh, what should I use? Um, miss you so much. Don't know why, but where is it? I can't see it now. <laughs> there it is. So I'm going to use Night of Navy cards, uh, Night of Navy ink on the Whisper White. I just need to grab the punch to punch that out. The uh, label punch. And I'm going to punch it all the way, so the words are all the way over to the left. Because I have got some embellishments that I think, now which colour should I go for? Uh, we could use Tangerine Tango or So Saffron, I think. Or both. So let me see. Uh, so, what am I looking for? So saffron. No, tangerine tango is in the <laughs> brights collection. Oh my goodness! Um, should I stick that on first? Yeah. Let me stick this down first. On a dimensional as well. And then some uh, tangerine tango. Which ones are tangerine tango? The dark ones. Those. What shape? I think I'll have one with the bigger circles. Yeah, just one circle, I think, actually. Mm. Yeah, Change the wind. <laughs> Okay, okay, so that is this week's colour challenge card. I hope that you like it. Like I said, it's just a really quick, simple card. So if you don't have a lot of time, just add in a bit of ink and um, a little bit of a, a die cutting. You can get a, a nice looking card in not too much time. So the colours again are So Saffron, Tangerine Tango and Night of Navy. If you have colours that are similar to this and you want to play along by making something then don't feel that you have to use the stamping up colours if you've got an, a, yellow, a pale yellow an orange and a blue or even a bright yellow yellow, orange, blue just anything in those colours then you can of course play along and tag me in it on Instagram or post it to my Facebook page they don't just have to be stamping up colours um, so anybody can play along with that and of course anybody can play along by commenting as well so i hope that you like this video if you do then please share it so other people can um 
have a go at the card and play along as well and don't forget to check out some of my other videos because I I've have quite a few videos now um where are we what day is it Wednesday um my next video will be up on Saturday well actually Friday there'll be a video up on my Facebook page and Saturday will be here on YouTube so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos and I will see you in the next one see you everybody